Hello everybody and welcome back to Jade Empire, where we're still working our way up through the arena. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Tell me about my next fight. Ah, uh, yes, your next fight. Uh, there's been a bit of a change in plans. Not that it will affect you too much, of course. It's all part of the traditions of the arena, you see? I have word that you're going to be facing a fighter specially chosen from the guild, you see. As soon as you're ready, you'll be facing him instead of a normal match. This sounds entirely legitimate. Who did you originally see as my opponent? I was originally thinking that you'd done well enough to face Crimson Kana for the Browns Division Championship. Things change when the guild is involved, though. I see. Why would the guild have any say in who I face? The guild's the organization that controls the betting here. That's not all, though. Kailan the Serpent has a lot of influence here as well. I see. I have to bow to certain pressures. I don't like it that much, but smart men don't voice that opinion too loudly. Not around here. Can you not have their man face someone else? No, I can't, actually. The Serpent, who's the guild's chief agent in this place, has specifically requested you. Mm-hmm. This sounds entirely legitimate. Very well, I'll deal with this guild thug. I'm certain it will be a small thing. Best to just finish it now. Yeah, definitely gonna be small. <laughs> Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do this. Excellent. Follow me, and we'll get you ready for your next match. The Serpent wanted me to win this, apparently. Or he bet against me. That's also a possibility. Okay, it's only one enemy. Many of you are asking yourselves mm. Serpent why himself. the Serpent would return to the ring. Am I not retired? Yes! Does that mean I do not care about your entertainment? No! You've all seen the fury and the intense focus of Raging Dragon in the ring. Now, it's time to put these abilities to the test! So he's a caster of some and type. so, the serpent gives you a real spectacle. Have your silver handy to place your wagers. I give you evil and terror incarnate. Oh, I'm not. I'm not facing him. Okay, just a toad demon. That's not the worst. Okay, so you can't jump over the toad demon. Gotcha. Toad demons cannot be CC'd, they cannot be affected by weapons, they cannot be affected by casting. Correct? Correct. Okay. Oh boy. This guy hurts a bit. Okay. He gets no, absolutely no, um, okay, I know what I have to do. Ah, of course, of course, stop just spamming your power attack, bro. Dude, chill. And I don't think I can spirit thief off of them either. Okay, so I think this is probably a loss. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he gets no CC. He has no recoil when I hit him whatsoever. So let's see if I was scripted to lose that or not. I thought you would be possible or not. It was expected. Kailan is most displeased with your yeah. fighters and abilities. Gotcha. If you had let me tell our rising star here what they'd be facing, things would have gone differently. The Serpent feels that this one has abilities far greater than your bronze trash. The fight was possible, foreknowledge or not. Oh, I agree. Now that I know what I'm facing, I'll crush your little pet. Is that so? 
One loss was not enough to teach you about humility? I suggest that you face this demon again. We will make it part of the schedule. You win, you move on. You lose, you don't. Okay. I'll beat it this time. I look forward Good. to the rematch. When you are ready, speak with Kui. I'm sure he'll be happy to send you into battle. So you have to beat the demon. That's fine. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. I am. What? Tell me about my next As fight. As you know, the demon awaits you. You'll have to face him to proceed. Yep. Are you ready to get started? So the reason I lost to him before Excellent. was because he was just sitting there spamming his power attack. Okay, so do we have the whole pageantry? Only in our empire can demons be harnessed for sport. Nope. Okay. See, he he doesn't recoil at all when I hit him. And that's the core issue here. Storm Dragon. He is immune to Storm Dragon. Yes. Yes, he is. Okay. Is he immune to Spirit Thief? Yes, he is. Okay. So we just have to dodge. That's all there is to it. So he can still poison us even through the shield when we totally block it. That's pretty unfair. Hmm. Maybe we'd be better off in White Demon? I don't know. Hmm. How do I want to approach this guy then? Come on in. Okay. Okay, he's pinned us against the wall. I can't see anything. <laughs> Lovely. So you can't go over him when he's doing his power attack. You can go under. But his power attack charges very quickly, so you have to do it like that. But you can't interrupt his power attack either, the way you can a lot of other power attacks. So, the question that I'm having is, sure, I can block and avoid every one of his attacks, but when do I have time to actually, uh... When do I have time to actually counterattack? That's the question. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this. Because we don't have we don't have any reach on this guy. Be harnessed for sport. He's got reach on us. Most of our core styles don't work on him. He has no recoil, and he can poison us through the shield. He's really slow, staff. which would be fine to kite him. Wait a second. He can be damaged with the staff. Since when? Okay, if he can be damaged with the staff, we can make this work. Oof. That attack has such a big range. Okay. And he can animation lock us. Essentially, he can charge that attack while we are... Okay, so we need to bait it. Oh, come on. Use your power attack, bro. Come on, bro. No? His attacks are so fast and so long range. Come on, power attack. There you go. And he just instantly turns around and uses his tongue lash. Like, I don't... I, I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to kill this guy if I have no time to actually attack him, because I'm avoiding all of his attacks all the time. Like, look at that. There's no opportunity to actually attack this guy because you can't actually stop him from attacking you back. Hmm. So how are we to tackle this jerk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew this one was a lost cause. Hmm.
Well, we know that we can use the staff now, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the power of... Reloading. <laughs> okay. So we know that we can Only use the staff. In our empire can demons be harnessed for sport. Which we're really not specced for. Even with the staff, though, we don't really have the range for this. So what we need to do is bait him into power attacking, dodge it, but even then, he dodges past out of our range and then can instantly just attack us from range. Can't do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do feel like we do a lot more damage in Legendary Strike, so maybe what we need to do is something like... Really, he hit us even there. And I was animation locked. <laughs> He's so fast. Like, I don't understand how his attacks are this fast when he moves this slow and is clearly intended to be kited. But we can't stop him from doing anything. Everything that he has cannot be interrupted. He can't be CC'd in any way. He has longer range and faster attack than us. Okay. So. In that case, what other styles do we have available to us? Could we potentially use, like, Horse Demon on him? We probably can't this fight, but what if we were to use Horse Demon on him? I believe it requires too much chi. Yeah. So what... what would we be able to hit him with Horse Demon? It's a demon style. So maybe we throw this at this point. Wait a second. How did that happen? Yeah, I think we need to use Horse Demon. That's probably going to be the best way to do this. So I'm just going to throw the fight at this point. Clearly our normal tactics aren't going to work on this Toad Demon. So let's go ahead and let him take us out. Charge up our Chi. And I'm just going to try out Horse Demon and see if he's immune to that. If he is, then I'm at a loss. I... I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. And let's do this. Yeah. Only in our empire can demons be harnessed for sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horse Demon for... Okay, Horse Demon. Is this effective? It is! Look at that! Aw, oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Easy peasy. Well, now we know how to deal with those guys. That was an exceptional fight. I haven't seen demons in the ring before. And now you've seen two. I hope this proves my skill to you. It just took a bunch of attempts to figure out exactly how to counter that guy. No one questions your skills. That is why you were allowed to fight that beast. It only took eight attempts. I don't know how many it I'm took. I'm convinced <laughs> that you deserve a shot at Crimson Kana. Your victory has sealed the deal. That reminds me. I was asked to instruct you to talk with Lucky Cho before your next match. Oh, really? What did he want to talk about? He didn't say, and when I asked, he gave me that glare of his. Lovely. Go, speak with him now. The sooner you do, the sooner I can return you to the ring. Indeed. Okay, so let's go talk to him. Before you face Kana, I'd like to present you with a mutually beneficial arrangement. No thanks. If it's you offering, I'm not interested. To turn down an invitation of this nature would be both impolite and unwise. Fortunately for you, my employer, Kai Lan the Serpent, has a vested interest in your success against Kana. This is Sweet Poison Lin, a master of the Toxican Arts. Lin, this is Raging Dragon, the fighter we discussed. I know this one by reputation, and that's enough. 
I trust you'll consider this discussion private and potentially very beneficial. No, I don't like where this is going. I don't like the tone this offer of yours is taking. Not even if it offers you a chance at the Bronze Division Championship? I'll earn that, thank you very much. Crimson Kana's rise to Bronze Division Champion has been good for business, but she has become troublesome of late. She believes that the Serpent runs the arena with little concern for honor, and she's right. The problem is that she cares. What does this have to do with me? The Serpent and I believe that Kana needs to be stopped. We want you to replace her as the Bronze Champion. That'll happen. It should be a simple matter to slip a slow-acting but extremely deadly poison into Kana's drink before the match. No thanks. I will not be party to a murder. She will be dealt with regardless. Why not benefit from our actions and ensure that her removal is clean? No. When Cho approached me regarding this matter, I felt that it might be in the best interests of the Greater Guild if I were involved. That was a weird thing to if say. If you accept, the Guild will cover half of Lin's usual fee. The remaining cost would be roughly half of your winnings from defeating Kana. No, I'll just beat her normally. I'll not dishonor myself by resorting to poison. If that is your choice, then so be it. You may deal with Kana on your own. And I shall. I strongly advise you not to bring this up to anyone. I hope my point speaks for itself. Hey, Kana. It might not be wise to run to the <laughs> officials with this, but surely we should warn Crimson Kana. I agree, Dawnstar. I was going to do that. Our business is concluded. It is time for you to leave. Okay. Crimson Kana. They're gonna try to poison you, probably. I look forward to crossing paths with you. You and I both rose quickly through the ranks. The true test will be in which of us falls, and how we handle it. I should warn you, Lucky Cho is trying to eliminate you. Have I become such a thorn in the serpent's side? How do you know this? He offered me the services of a poisoner. Did he? Is Lucky Cho so desperate to see his bets assured, or does Kailan see me as a threat? Either way is a victory of sorts for me. The guild does not operate so overtly in the rest of the city. I wonder if the organization condones such actions. But such musings are useless. Why have you told me this? Well, because I consider you a worthy opponent. I want to make sure our match is honest. Feeling is mutual, though I think you deserve more than just thanks. I've long promised that I would train anyone who defeats me. My skills with the sword are imperfect, but there are things I could teach you that no other could. Should you emerge the victor of our fight, I will train you in some of my more advanced techniques. You've shown the purity of spirit to wield a weapon with the required precision. It's a fine reward. Thanks. A warrior knows that training is more valuable than silver. You're not wrong. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask you. Thank you again for your warning. It will be good to know that our fight will be fair. Okay, let's see what anyone else has to say. It's been a while since we've done the rounds in here. Yeah, yeah. That's the same thing she normally says. Soldier! Looks like you're still walking after that last match. Too bad. I'm sure Kana will fix that once you challenge her for the division championship. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. She uses a sword, and I don't like swords, but maybe I'll use Horse Demon. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. I'll talk to you later, soldier. Good. Go bother someone else. On. I watched your last match. I'm sure you did. Word is that Kana's blade will cross with yours next time you're out there. She's undefeated, you know. For now. It's always not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look who stands before us, brothers. Kana's next opponent, if the rumors are true. Okay, apparently that's all anyone has to say. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick save here. There we go. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. Indeed I am. Let's do this. What do you need? 
Until the guild stepped in, I was ready to give you an attempt at the bronze division for your last match. Now it's time. Are you ready to face Crimson Kana, the finest sword this august arena has seen in five generations? Sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Okay, so uh, the plan here is to keep our distance. A challenger for the bronze division, Crimson Kana must fend off raging dragon. Dual swords, huh? Okay. Well, okay, so let's just slow her slightly. Okay, freezer. Oh, she broke out of that quickly. Oh, she actually turned while charging her power attack there. Okay. And I should not have done that. Okay. She has a lot of HP. There's no doubt about that. Okay. That is a very immediate attack. She has recoil, though. Okay. Oh, come on. Kana, get out of here. Two can play at that game. There you go. Okay, she interrupted that. That's fine. So the best way to CC her appears to be to drop a Storm Dragon as she's coming in. Yeah, definitely. Nope. I've learned my lesson. Oh, she was actually able to block that. It's intriguing. Got him. <laughs> okay, this could this could take a bit. There we go. Get out of here, Kana. That was an interesting encounter there. She knocked me back, but I stunned her. Get out of here. No thanks. Gotcha. Okay, this should be the final blow right here. Oh, nope. Okay, I'm ending this. There we go. Perfect. Kana's winning streak has been broken at last. I don't know if you've heard, but Kana has proclaimed that the first fighter who extricates her from her championship will learn the secrets of her technique. Come talk to me when you have a moment. Crowd loved that fight. I think it was worth some extra silver, don't you? Come now. The arena works on a strictly regenerated payment system for the fights. There's no way I can give you extra. I'm sure. You're too savvy a businessman not to reward your star performers, or I make it easier for you to fill the seats. Um, we seem to do best with intuition, but we don't have that option. We'll try... We'll try intimidation. I mean no offense. It's just... I see your point. Here, take this, and don't tell the others. Okay. Now that that's settled, what else can I do for you? Uh, there's nothing more I need from you for now. When you walk the streets and hear your name among the crowds, be sure that your ego does not swell like the body of eleven gaping maw, god of inopportune gluttony. Indeed. And let's talk to Kana. I've been thinking since our match. I came to this place seeking honor, but I feel that my many victories here have all been hollow. I think, yes, it is time for me to leave again and seek other challenges. What will you do now? I think I shall return to the prosperous east and continue my studies, but first I'm sworn to teach the secrets of my style to any who can best me. Let me instruct you.
Since you told me the serpent's plan, I will teach you a more advanced technique. The key is balance and form. Your motion must be swift, but precise. Well done. You'll learn very quickly. One thing bothers me about your moves, though. Throughout the fight, I felt as if there was some opening in your defense. Why wouldn't you exploit that opening? What I sensed was some opening in your guard. I cannot name it, and could not find it, leading me to believe that it was a brilliant gambit. Your method traps your opponents into hunting for a weakness they'll never find. You should speak with your master about this. For now, you're deadly enough. Others have mentioned this. Should I be concerned? Consider it a perfectly laid trap, not a weakness. Your master was truly skilled to mold such a trap into your very being. It's odd he never mentioned it to you. Sometimes the best masters dare not thrust, trust their students with the deepest mysteries. Certain lessons can only be learned if one discovers them for, the, for oneself. I hope you fare well. I turn my eyes to the east, where new challenges await me by the ocean. We received Crimson Tears, which I believe is if I go into the right thing here. Yeah, right here. I'm going to replace Dragon Sword with Crimson Tears. So let's go ahead and remap that on in. Because I think that that's probably a better style. Excellent. 25% damage over basic double sabers style. Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode we will continue pushing through the arena. See you all then.